Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make smoked salt and pepper baby back pork ribs. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do is set our smoker up. Whatever smoker you're using, set it up for some indirect smoking. We're using our Bronco drum today. We're gonna to start by taking our cooking grate off. Then we'll take the heat deflector out. Then in a smoker like this, using the minion method, you can either use lump charcoal or briquettes. So the next thing we'll do is fill our charcoal basket up. Now it's not gonna be a really lengthy cook today, so that charcoal basket is just half full. You're always better off putting more in than what you think. And if there's any lump charcoal or briquettes left over at the end of the cook, you can always use it for your next cook. Then the next thing we'll do is get a couple of fire lighters, bury them in there and light them up. All right, now we've got about 10 to 15 minutes before those briquettes will be ready. So we'll use that time to prepare our pork ribs. All right, so we have got some beautiful free range Baby back pork ribs I picked up from our butcher at Austral Meat. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take this membrane off the bottom side. So you wanna get yourself a butter knife. I like to start around the fourth rib in. Just wanna get your butter knife, slide it up against the bone. Give your knife a wiggle around as you're doing it. Try and get through to the other side. And then take your knife out. Get your finger under there, and then you just want to work this membrane off. And you should be able to pull it off all in one piece, just like so. And now we just want to trim these pork ribs up. So we're just going to get rid of any excess fat. Just got a little bit of bone on the end there. So I'm just going to square that end off. I'll do the same on the other end. That underside's looking nice now. So we'll turn it over. It's got a little bit, I'm going to trim off the end here. I don't wanna trim all the fat off. I do wanna leave some on as it's gonna help keep that meat nice and juicy. So now we're all trimmed up, it's time to season them. All right, so for our rub, nice and simple. I've just got 20 grams of cracked black pepper and 20 grams of kosher salt. So we're using equal parts by weight of salt and pepper. If you've just got normal table salt, I would halve the amount of salt again as it's a lot more intense. So I'm just gonna combine the salt and pepper into a shaker. We'll give it a good mix. And just to help our rub stick to the meat, I'm gonna coat our ribs lightly in some olive oil. And then we can season them up. All right, and now these pork ribs are good to go. So we'll come back now once our briquettes are ready to set the rest of this smoker up. All right, so our briquettes have caught light nicely. So what we can do now is shut our lid and make sure both our vents are wide open. Then we'll let our barbecue preheat to just below our target temperature, which for this cook, I'm gonna to look to run it at around the 275 Fahrenheit or 135 Celsius range. All right, so while our barbecue's preheating, we've just got some cherry wood ready, but if you've got another favorite smoking wood for pork, feel free to use that. And honestly, don't be thinking these pork ribs are gonna be lacking any flavor. You'll be absolutely amazed at the flavors you'll pick up in these pork ribs. Just from the simple salt and pepper rub, the rendering fat and that beautiful cherry smoke. Trust me, you'll try these or serve them to your friends and family and they'll think you've used some complex barbecue rub. And by all means, if you did want to use one of your favorite pork rib barbecue rubs and follow along to this video, feel free to do that. But for now, we'll come back when our smoke is ready to get these pork ribs on. All right, so we are ready to get these pork ribs on. So we'll open our smoker back up, get our cherry wood on, get our heat deflector back in, then our cooking grate. You can smell that beautiful cherry wood already. Then our pork ribs, then we can shut the lid and let these start smoking away. All right, so all we really have to do for the first hour of this cook is maintain a nice steady smoking temperature, which is really easy in a drum smoker like the Bronco. I'm gonna be leaving our top vent open for this whole cook, and I'm just gonna control my temperatures using our intake vent. If I need to decrease temperature, I'll start shutting it down slightly. If I need to increase temperature, I'll start opening it up. If you're using something like a pellet smoker, you don't really have to worry about fire management. Or if you're using an offset smoker or a Weber kettle, I'll put a couple of links down in the description on a couple of fire management videos I've done in the past because offset smokers and Weber kettles can be some of the most challenging barbecues when it comes to fire management. That's why I love using a drum smoker because it's about as easy as it gets when it comes to managing a fire in a charcoal smoker. So I'm gonna let these pork ribs go for a little while now and we'll come back once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, we are one hour in. These pork ribs are starting to take on some nice color already. We're just gonna give them a spritz. I'm just using some apple cider vinegar but honestly, any sort of fruit juice or just water will do the trick nicely. That's just gonna help keep our pork ribs nice and moist. We're gonna do that every half an hour until we're ready to wrap these up. Now, before we wrap these pork ribs up, I'm gonna be looking for some really nice color and for our rub to have set on there nicely too. I reckon we're about another hour to an hour and a half away from wrapping these up. So we'll come back once we're ready to do that. All right, so we are two hours in. 
These pork ribs are looking amazing. Getting some nice drawback on the bones already. Let's wrap these up. So I've got about three tablespoons of butter spread out on two layers of foil. Just gonna lay these pork ribs meat side down. We'll put the same amount of butter on the underside and then wrap them up nice and tight. And now we'll get them back in the smoker, meat side down. So our pork ribs are wrapped up back in the smoker. We're gonna run that same temperature we've been maintaining for the whole cook. And we're gonna take them now until they're probing tender around the 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius internal mark. I assume that's gonna take around an hour to an hour and a half to get there. I don't like putting a time on these things. That's why if you've heard of the 321 method for pork ribs, Forget about it. It's gonna give you really inconsistent results depending on the type of pork ribs you're using. For example, if you're using the 321 method on a rack of pork ribs that thick, and then a rack of pork ribs that thick, you're gonna get very inconsistent results. So personally, I keep it simple. I like to smoke my pork ribs until I'm happy with the color, then I'll wrap them up until they're nice and tender, which I start checking for tenderness around that internal temperature I just spoke about. Then depending on how I wanna serve my pork ribs, I might finish them off with a sauce or a glaze. So always cook to internal temperature and feel. There's always so many variables that will potentially put you out of whack with all your timings. So like I said, we'll let these pork ribs go now and we'll come back once we're ready to check for probe tenderness. All right, these pork ribs have been wrapped up for just over an hour. Time to check them. I'm just gonna unwrap this foil, have a probe around in between the bones with our instant read. I can already feel that these are quite soft. What do we got? We got about 199, 202, 203, 206. These are actually probing really nice. They're at around the 202 to 205 Fahrenheit, about 94 to 96 Celsius mark. And if we pick them up, We've got a really, really nice bend to them. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna flip them back over, meat side up, we'll kind of fold this foil up around the pork ribs. And we'll shut the lid for five minutes just to bring some of that color back. All right, and after about five minutes, all I'm gonna do is brush back over some of these wrap juices. Then we'll shut the lid, give them pork ribs five more minutes, then we can get them out to slice and serve. All right. It's time. Look at that, beautiful smoke ring. Plenty of moisture in there. Let's have a taste. Oh, look at that. Perfect, clean bite through. They are seriously incredible. You need to give them a shot. There's so much flavor in there. Like I said before, if you were to give them to someone, they would think you've used some sort of complex rub, but it goes to show you don't need anything fancy to produce some good barbecue. So there you have it, how to make smoked salt and pepper baby back pork ribs. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all my YouTube members. I hope you enjoy all the extra perks and special discounts. But for now, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of these off camera. So I'll see you all next time.